The Dia de Muertos Series 26 update has now released for Horizon 5 and it's not been the smoothest release in the world. And in the reveal stream of that update we did get some good glimpse as to what we can expect for the future of Horizon 5 until Horizon 6 basically. We're going to touch on all that but very quickly here are the 5 winners of Premium Edition Forza Motorsport codes. They have all won. If they don't end up replying I will just pick other winners so you still might be within a chance. But we have another giveaway for the Super Speed Car Pack. The new car pack for Horizon 5. If you want to win a code make sure you are subscribed to the channel and then comment your game attack. That's all you have to do to enter. I'll pick some people in the next dish video. So Dia de Moretos, the full changelog has been released over on Twitter we have the graphic that we like to cover in almost every update nothing really new here that wasn't mentioned in the stream a bit more information on the race suits we did touch on the race suits in the previous video but the the Forza Motorsport race suit will be delivered to all players as of two days ago so we should all have that available in the message center today and the Dia de Muertos outfits so that's plural so there's going to be more than one outfit will be delivered on the 26th of October so that's two weeks today I think which is the the third week if I recall correctly on the first day of the third week of the series we will get the Dia de Muertos outfits delivered straight to our message center as gifts. Now I'm not entirely sure what they look like but we do know what the motorsport race suit looks like via these screenshots here. Looks pretty cool I might actually use it myself and stop dressing up like a chicken. Mainly we do have the full bugs and fixes which is always good to see if you're waiting for a bug to be fixed. If it's not here it's not been fixed. So we've got all of the general fixes, all of the cars fixes and all of the event lab fixes. Now what's interesting about the event lab fixes is there is actually a new feature within them that I don't think was mentioned in the live stream. We have added ability to filter via track when searching for event lab events. And the super speeders car pack, let's talk about that quickly. We are aware that some players are unable to access the cars in the super speeders car pack. Thank you for your patience as the team investigates the issue. Now what happened was, if you got the update, got the car pack, went to the car pack screen, clicked on it, this is what happened. There's nothing there. You can't buy the cars, you can't use the cars, you can't even see the cars that you have actually already purchased with real money. You can't get it, which is a big issue. You know, it's one thing when there's a bit of a glitch in the game that you can't access a new feature, but when it's a paid pack, when it's something that's paid that people have had to pay money for and it's not working, that's... People are obviously unhappy about that. Now it took almost a whole day for Forza Motorsport to come out with another comment on this and they said the Super Speeders car pack will be available for players who purchase the pack starting tomorrow, October the 12th. So that is today as I'm recording this video. So it's, now it took two days for them to fix this. Now I'm not knocking them at all, you know, mistakes happen. But people are obviously just a bit annoyed about it. But it is what it is. The delay has been caused by an issue on their back end which will be resolved with the season change. Which is why it's today on a Thursday. It's not like they've delayed it on purpose. It just has to be when the season changes which is Thursday. They apologise for the inconvenience caused. So sometime today on the Thursday the car pack will be fixed. Now unfortunately because of this issue that's, that's happened with the car pack. If we have a look at the reviews for the car pack on the Microsoft Store. There's not many of them, but the ones that they are, they are 71% one star reviews. Mostly people saying, I can't access the car pack and I bought it. Which to be fair is a completely valid complaint to have with a thing that you've purchased that isn't working. What else have we got to talk about through this update? Now we always talk about leaks as what's, you know, what's been found in the files after a new update patch has been released. Well, just like the last one, it's not really been anything found. It does seem like ever since Playground Games cracked down on one of the main sort of leak files, there's not really been anything found lately, which has kind of left us with no leaks, which to be honest, I kind of like. I like covering leaks. You guys like to hear about leaks, but at the end of the day, it's nicer if we don't know what's coming, if we have no idea. It's a bit more of a surprise then. So yeah, so far it might change. People might look a bit deeply, but so far nothing being found in the Dia de Muertos update. That doesn't mean that all of the previous leaks that we're still waiting on don't have any relevance. They are obviously still there. It's just we don't have any updates on leaks whatsoever. Now, in my opinion, one of the best things to come from this update is a comment that we got in the reveal livestream by the vehicle director at Playing Around Games, Chris Phillips. It's regarding the future of Horizon 5, what we can expect update-wise, which actually tells us a little bit about 
where Horizon 6 is. We've had an amazing year of updates so far and we're really thrilled at how the community reception has been. So I take this opportunity to say we have plenty more coming. We have plenty more updates coming in the new year, so you've got plenty to look forward to in Forza Horizon 5. Now that may not seem like much, but I'm mentioning it today because it does have a bit of relevance to what we previously talked about in a previous video quite recently. We've talked about how Forza Horizon 5 is two years old now, and in the past there's usually been two years between each Horizon game. Every two years we've had the next Horizon game. Now, it's been two years since Horizon 5's out, and we can see Horizon 6 is still a long way away. Horizon 4 and Horizon 5 had a three year gap, we've spoke about this quite a few times. If Horizon 5 follows the same route, that would in theory mean that we get Horizon 6 next year, which would in theory mean that the Horizon 5 updates will now start to slow down a bit because Horizon 6 is approaching. This comment from Chris actually tells us the exact opposite, that there's plenty more big updates to come. It does appear that Horizon 5 will have a more increased lifespan and it will probably mean that Horizon 6 will not be next year. And if it's not next year, it's probably the year after. Every Horizon game is always released in sort of Q4 of a year. So if it's not the end of next year, it will be the end of the year after that, I would guess. So we're, we're about 50% of the way there through Horizon 5's lifespan. And to hear this comment from Chris is great to hear that more big updates are coming. It's reassuring stuff because we know that in the past six to 10 months, the Horizon 5 updates have genuinely been pretty damn good. There are there's still people out there that still moan about it and they have valid points, but I kind of think that we should take a step back and realize that these updates are still free. You know, these content updates that we get every month are completely free and the past six to 10 months have been pretty damn good. So if we've got many more of them to look forward to, this is nothing but good. But what it does mean in terms of Horizon 6 is it's probably not time to transfer our brains into Horizon 6 mode as it's probably not coming next year, which is fine. I can take another year and a half of Horizon 5 if it means we get updates like these recent ones. It does also mean that all of the updates that have been leaked, all of the content, all of the cars that are still yet to come, still have a pretty good chance at coming at some point because it could be at any point within the next year and a half if we genuinely genuinely got a lot of more big updates to come. Now Chris said in his little comment that the studio have noticed that our community's reception to these latest updates has been really good and that we'd obviously, we've obviously been really liking them, which is true. This leads me to mention once again, I mention this a lot, the suggestions hub. It is so important and it's obviously working pretty damn well, I think. And I keep saying if the majority of us are not using the suggestions hub, the majority of us are not going to be happy with what's coming. We really need to keep using the suggestions hub because it is working and it's going to play a huge factor in Horizon 6 as well whenever that will appear. We're in no rush for it. We're not going to talk about Horizon 6 just yet. There's a lot more to talk about before that. So that's everything we're going to talk about today, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you all later.